You know, I was riding my motorcycle the other day. It's fall again and cooler weather, and I can do this. And I was thinking about some of the things that have been said to me down through the years. People, well-intentioned people, giving me advice. And as I rode along, I thought about all that advice on what I should do with positive Christianity and so on. And it was all wrong. It's only been when I've had the advice from God that it was all right. Even when I fought with the advice, even when I didn't want to take it, even when I thought it was a crazy idea from God, eventually, when I was talked into it, I, I thank God now, looking back, because it was the exact precision advice that I needed. God knows and shows you what is best for you constantly. In Luke 1 verse 19 it says, I stand in the presence of God. When you have this consciousness that wherever you are that you're standing in the presence of God, it has great power. No matter how well other people know you, they may not know what is best for you. You can listen to their suggestions, but you might decide not to follow through on them. However, there is that one that knows you better than any person on earth. So listen to that one. Listen for God's guidance. And have faith that the golden opportunities are being revealed to you. When you make a change in your life, it is because you have been encouraged by an inner prompting to take a different course to follow a new plan. Divine guidance may come as a gradual knowing that modifications are necessary or as a definite nudge in the right direction at an important turning point in your life. You recognize divine guidance because you attune yourself to God in prayer. You stand in the presence of God. And then you feel a confirmation that your soul is doing the right thing. You feel that confirmation in your soul that what you are receiving is the wisdom of God. Well, I pray today for you that you have this wisdom of God. I pray that you stand in the presence of God.